Hello everyone, my name is Hector Mendoza. Uh, I have my email address right here. If you ever want to email me, ask me questions about simbility or Xactimate, uh, it's Hector Mendoza Adjusting at yahoo.com. Uh, what I'm going to, here, let me scroll through this. Here's all the videos that I already have on uh, simbility and Xactimate. Most of them are Xactimate. I'm about to do a bunch of them for simbility, but uh, this is an eight part series. Here's some more. You know, it has a lot of different kind of stuff like how to draw rooms, how to draw uh, roofs, how to use your uh, room key, your uh, creating curved walls, uh, exporting data, how to sketch a fence. How to sketch spiral uh, staircases? You know, it's a bunch of them. So, you know, just go through them. And, and let's say you want to know how to draw a sketch using a scan in Xactimate. You can do the same thing with Simbility, which is real cool. Uh, uh, so I haven't seen those. Any, I haven't seen anybody else post those too. So, as far as I know, on Simbility, uh, I'm the first video that I've seen I mean it's, it ain't something I created I'm just saying it's uh, I haven't seen those so I learned that by myself uh, playing around with this program so some some really important settings that you might want to set especially if you want to follow along with some of the stuff I'm doing so what you want to do is go to simbility once you open the claim you can go in here to the simbility icon. Then you're going to go to preferences. So let me show you. Let me uh, go to my simbility. I open up a claim. We're going to go to the simbility icon. We're going to go to your preferences. Uh, and these are the preferences that you're going to want to set. Okay. So I've gone in and made myself notes of things that I changed on mine so yours might be a little bit different so the first thing you want to do is go to your general change this to one minute everything else should probably be the same but if you don't see a check mark like mine go ahead and change that the next thing then you click on uh, uh, your diagrams I think I had to change mine to red and I had to change this to a 12. Then when you go to your items, there's two things that need to be changed. One of them is time out, uh, you know, uh, quality and no pop up. Make sure that's set to five seconds. And I'm going to explain all that later. Then if you keep on going down in the items, there's going to be this section right here. Uh, I think that's going to be set the, that way, but you want to click on show column headers. Make sure that quality, uh, quantity and unit price is selected. And uh, this right here, this quick list, uh, I'll go over that later. I'll kind of briefly show you what that is, uh, but I, I really don't want to talk too much about that right now. So, you know, uh, if I go to civility, go to that uh, quick list I'm going to add and I'm just going to put this is a test and I'm going to save it every time throughout simbility there's places you can use this it's, uh, it's called a quick list and you can insert this into a bunch of different places and as I go I'll show you what that that one is but you know where to go now so I'm just going to delete that because I try to keep this, this thing clean. Okay, so those are your settings. One other thing that you might want to uh, think about is if you're trying to learn Simbility, you know, if you go here to your uh, Simbility icon and you can go to Simbility Support, <clears throat> uh, they have all kinds of support. First of all, here's here's all their telephone numbers right here on the left. You can call them and ask them anything, and they'll show you how to do it. 
via the phone. I mean, it's, you know, it's not like you're calling a, an automated number. These are actually real people uh, that you can actually talk to. But if you want to train some, using some ability, you can just click on this self-pacing training video. And uh, I learned a lot of this stuff from, from, from this stuff from this uh, site here. So one last thing I'm gonna talk about is, uh, here, let me close this so you can see how it launches. Uh, here, close that, okay, so, and I guess I can close that one. So let's say that you, um, you want notifications sent to you. Every time somebody gets into your claim, every time you get a new claim, or every time you finish the claim, there's a list about that long of notifications that you can uh, get sent to you via email or phone or both. So let, 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 let me show you that real quick. If you go to Symbility, uh, this time we're going to go to Symbility Connect, okay? Once this launches, now yours might be a little bit different. If you're not up to date with your uh, uh, updates, you should be because every time you uh, relaunch, you're supposed to synchronize. When you synchronize, it uh, automatically updates your uh, Symbility version. So first thing you want to make sure, it's going to look like this. Click, click on Claims. Make sure the Claims is selected. You see how it went to this uh, window? Now, you see on the upper right-hand corner, you can left-click, and you see right here where it says notifications. If you click on notifications, these are the notifications that you set, and these are the ones that I have set for myself, okay? See, owner... Uh, every time an ownership to a claim has been requested by another user, it's going to do an internal notification through, through Assembility. It's going to email me at my email address, and it's going to phone me. Okay, so uh, this one here is, by default, it's already told internal. So is this one, so you don't have to mess with the, that one, this one, or this one. Um, but you can set all kinds of stuff, right? Now, to create a new one, first of all, your name is, they don't know your which email you want and what telephone number you want notified. So this is what you do. If you create a new method, okay? Then, for instance, let's say it was uh, uh, your email. You know, you got to pull down here. Either you can do it text or email. So we're going to select text message, okay? Then right here, the the message destination will be 469-888-000, uh, whatever your telephone number is, okay? And then, so what you can do right now is click. You see it says you provided uh, invalid email. It's uh So if you wanted to, you can hit type test and hit test. It'll send it to, to your uh, email. And then at this point, you would hit add. Okay. But we're not going to do that because I already got everything set. You would do that for your email. Then you would do that for your text. If you're not getting certifications, you're not doing something right. So make sure that you can get it on your phone. Uh, that way you can get your notifications. Uh, let me see. There's another preference that um, you got to switch back and forth a lot. And, and let me go over this one because this one used to kind of give me a little bit of problems. Uh, did I pick roof? Here, I don't, uh, yeah, roof. Okay, so you see right here when you create a roof, when you're drawing, see this view right here? Right now, this measurement is from this corner of the roof, the eave, 
all the way to the other side of the E. You see 54.2. Now, if you go to view and you ignore soffit for all horizontal dimensions, look what happens. Now, the measurement change, and it, 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 it's not, you know, just up to the soffits. So make sure when you're using this measurement, you make sure that this is either set here or there. So that kind of messed me up one time. So that's why I wanted to make sure that you understand what that is. Um, another thing, you see this snap to wall when resizing? That one, those two. No, especially this one. This one is not that bad. I, I usually uh, uh, I usually just keep it like that, okay? But this one here, man, when you're drawing, you're going to notice that you're going to have to be going switching back and forth. And when you start seeing me draw some of this roofs, so you'll understand. Anyway, that's it. Those are just some of the, uh, some of the stuff I wanted to go over with you all before I start posting all my videos. So if you like this video, please subscribe to me and you'll be getting new notifications every time I put a new video out there. Plus, it's going to give you a list of all of my videos that I have there. Thank you for watching my video. We'll see you on the other uh, lesson.